Hello, everyone. Welcome to week two of our Advent celebration. We're going to be looking at the idea of hope today, reading about the hope that Jesus initiated when he came as a human, and the hope that he will fully realize when he returns and makes everything right. Doc, would you like to set the candle? We're going to read from Isaiah 9, 1 to 7, and Ephesians 4, 1 to 3. We'll start with Isaiah. But there will be no gloom for her who was in anguish. In the former time, he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time, he has made glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of a tramping warrior in battle tumult, and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end, on the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. In Ephesians 4, 1 to 3. I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. All right, so we hope you enjoy the time you have this week with your family to stop and pause for a minute, take time to uh, light your Advent candle to do this reading and to remember uh, the one that came, the God that became human, and the God that will return one day to make everything right, and that we're his people and representatives right now. So enjoy your time, everyone. Have a great holiday. We'll see you on Sunday. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.